2025, man. Watch the good girl sports TV, bro. All right, check out Hayes Investment Group, Stockton Cryptocurrency Investing. He wants you guys to know he give out free game on his YouTube channel right there, Neighborhood Stock Guy on Instagram. Cornelius Hayes about to stop marking how to invest your money. You want a one on one? Hit him directly up on Instagram, Cornelius Hayes, running your screen so you get it popular to get that extra money. And my Cardi B voice, appreciate the love and support. Check him out. Peace. All right, Leo Santa Cruz after getting knocked out. By um, Javante Tank Davis says he finally wants Gary Russell. All right, um, said he wanted to unify with Gary Russell. Not sure if uh, Leo ever unified, but let's talk about it. Check out the boxing news playlist. Share the video. I'm getting it from um, boxing scene. Okay, uh, him fighting Tank the night that we uh, popped. We couldn't go live for I think it was for three months. Jesus, and I'm like, damn, I couldn't pivot to nothing. But um, I'm not sure. I think Leo unified versus Carl Frampton. I could be wrong. Uh, no, they didn't. Huh. I think he unified. I don't know. I don't think he ever unified. Excuse me. I don't know. And one. But, um, let's read the article. Leo Santa Cruz wants to resume career 26. He fired with Gary Russell on the unification bout. Dude, my neck on fire this morning. Jesus, sir. There we go. Leo Santa Cruz's five fire winning streak was snapped. On Halloween last year, when, it's, when he suffered a scary knockout to Javante Davis in the junior welterweight, junior lightweight bout, the four division Mexican champion has won titles at 18, 22, 26, and 130. If you ask a 15 year veteran Santa Cruz who holds the WBA 126 title, his next fight will unfold at Superstar at Super Featherweight. Quote, I'll probably go down to 126, and I still have a title of 126 with defend. And in the fight this year, Santa Cruz told reporters following a Colbert win over in the young bar in Carson, California. Of course, if Gary Russell wants it, I want the fight too. Let's make it happen. He wants to fight. I want to fight. Let's tell our teams to make the fight. Okay. A hot matchup between San Leo Santa Cruz, 37-2-1 and big 19, 19 big ones. And WBC Super Featherweight Champion, Gary Russell, 31-0, 18 big ones. Uh, is it... It's a fight that is uh, feasible and easy to do. It's easily doable since both fighters signed the Premier Boxing Champions under the Premier Boxing Champions banner. Santa Cruz 32, Gary Russell 32 have both expressed desire to fight one another for quite some time. And the sand and the hourglass is diminishing by the day for the potential fight. Well, we've been in the same weight division for the last four years. I've had a title for the last four years. Russell's had said last year. Said last year. What's the reason for him not wanting to fight? Him fight? Him. What's the reason for him not fighting me? I have the most prestigious title in the sport, which is the WBC. Quote, so I guess I've got to push these guys back against the wall and make and make the fights. And I'm actually getting to the point where I'm tired of picking on people that's not willing to fight. I'm tired of picking on Leo Santa Cruz. If he don't want to fight, that's no problem. I'll move up and wait. Like I said, we got bigger fish to fry. Russell's not fought since February 2020 in the unanimous decision over in the umpire. He's fought once a year since 2015. If he'll fight, if he'll be fighting just once this year, Santa Cruz would be the most desirable fight opponent. Facts. Who wrote this article? Facts. I can't pronounce his name, but shout out to him. Facts. Leo got knocked out. Now he want to fight. But when Rigandow moved up a weight, even though uh, Leo had a better performance, they stripped uh, they stripped uh, Rigandow. Why didn't they strip Leo Santa Cruz, man? That's what I'm saying. The boxing is just inconsistency. I don't know if somebody paid him to strip uh, Rigandow or whatever happened, but he went up to 30 and got knocked out. No, Rigandow was inactive, too. So, I mean, yeah, let's do it, man. The dude put his arm around your pops and threaten your pops. You see, you know, I, ain't don't, I don't know. Um, 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 I don't know who you know, he is. And my man, man, put his arm around your pops. Threaten your pops. But I think Leo was looking for a payday versus Tank. A big, and then he'll fight Gary Russell. But they fought in the amateurs, and uh, they said Gary Russell went, hold on, went ham time on uh, on Leo. Said he went super hammer. Yeah, he lost to uh, oh, he lost to uh, Gary Russell brother too. He lost to Gary and, and Allen Russell Jr. No, no, see, that's the Gary Russell. My bad. He lost to yeah, the regular Gary Russell. My bad. Yeah, he got beat up by Gary Russell. Fuck. So I don't understand why they did why they why they should want to fight. But Leo also beat Adrian Broner in the uh, in the amateur, so you know, 
He heard he also beat Adrian Broner in the amateurs. So I mean we shall see. He not, I ain't going to fight. He going to end up fighting Zoo Can or some shit like that. Who the title holders there? Because I know he ain't going to fight uh, man whenever it's right day. Wrong street, so IBF vacant. We'll see, man. Hopefully, Gary get that fight. And we get a good fight. And um, pull it for Gary. I ain't going to pull for Leo. I heard Leo, a really nice guy, but nice. All this duck you've been doing. I made the best man. I hope Gary put them hands on him. Hope he take him ring around the rose. He hope he... Boom, 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 boom. Hope we get beat down. But that's a really good fight, man. I think uh, Leo got to keep him on the outside. No cap. Leo keep him on the outside. Gary going to have a hard time. You know, even this is boxing Gary Russell. You know, he let Gary Russell get an inside with that short reach. It's going to be a long night. But, yeah, that's some, that's some shit that should be on Fox, honestly. That's a, that's, a, that's a fight that should be on Fox. You know, we've been waiting for it for a long time. You know, and Alan Heyman, but most of the boxers don't even make the smaller fights. They don't even make the small dudes fight. And you look at Leo Santa Cruz. Let's look at Gary Russell. He got short arms. No. That to me just some white dude named Gary Russell. So, yeah, he got uh, 64 inch arms. Look at Leo Santa Cruz. He got 69 inch arms. So, Leo should stay on the outside. I mean, he could walk to uh, Gary Russell and not allow Gary Russell to get off. But, um, yeah, I, you know, Gary Russell's a good fighter, but he don't he don't have a feet that worry me. His thing is he like to walk down the smaller fighter. He like to walk down his fighters and use his hand speed. If Leo keep jabbing and using his footwork, he should be all right. And also, Leo might have whiplash. But Leo got knocked the fuck out, man. He got knocked out by Tank. He wasn't even breathing for long. Oh, you are. But that's what happened when you chase money. What Shaq say? What people do for money. Come on, man. But I want to see that, bro. But, you know, should, uh, should they let, uh, Leo get a tune up so they know, you know, but it don't matter. This is what fighters used to do back in the day. They used to uh, get knocked out and, you know, a couple weeks later get back in there and, have, and get a big win. So, I mean, good fight. I mean, Leo been fairly a little bit more active than uh, Gary Russell, but people act like, well, Gary Russell fight once a year, that's a big problem. Most fighters fight two times a year and they not and they not even fighting fights that we want to see. They not even fight champions. They not even fighting champions. So, like I said before, What's the big difference between you fighting one fight a year mandatory and you and then Leo or other not Leo but other guys fighting uh tomato cans and fighting tune ups and fights that ain't competitive? That's my thing. I wanna I wanna see the most competitive. If you fight once a year, give me a great fight, I am with it. I'm with it, but um But they both they both getting old. They both getting old. I mean Gary Russell, 33 years old. Just turned 33. Leo Santa Cruz is a. Uh, I mean, what's Leo? I think he's 32. He'll be 33 soon. He'll be 33 in August. So, like I said before, y'all the downturn y'all fights, and y'all only have one marquee fight. Leo marquee fight is getting up, is getting scooped, is getting uh, scooped off a stretcher off the canvas. So why, why shouldn't uh? Why shouldn't y'all get it on? All lady, and this might be the highlight of your career. This might be the fight that determines if you get in the Hall of Fame or not get in the Hall of Fame. This might be, you know, the fight that, that, you know, people remember you and endear you. I mean, I remember, yeah, I remember him, but, you know, most of these fighters doing the same thing they doing. Crawford, Demetrius Andrade, you know, you know, waiting for, uh, waiting, you know, not had that marquee fight. You know, you getting these, you getting these tussles at 30, 30, 30 something years old, you know. But, um, but yeah, man, you might fuck around and get injured. You might be your last to rob, but... You know, the thing Leo got going for him is Leo smoothed up to multiple weight classes. Gary Russell's just been at that one weight class. And, you know, he hasn't been able to get the Valdez's, the um, the Framptons, and the, you know, guys like that at the weight class. So, you know, if his fight don't jump for him, they should try to make the, um, they should try to make the, um, 
the uh, main one fight. That's a great fight for him, man. And um, I know they don't want to cross the street, but that's uh, just a suggestion. But um, yeah, let me know what you guys think about Leo ready to fight Gary Russell after he got knocked out, oh, man. But don't forget, you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out if you have a business question, inquiry, response, or video request. All my social media description. Twitter's the fastest way in Facebook and Instagram. His Facebook, Facebook link there as well, too. Want to join that? Want to make a financial donation to the channel? Cash app, CJ313. That's in the description. PayPal link there as well, too. Best way to donate, share, share the video. Um, and other than that, peace. Hey, you. Yeah, I'm talking to you. You right there watching this video, waiting for this live stream to start, or just watching the membership video, man, and why you should join the membership. Let's talk about it real quick, expeditiously. Um, we got the three levels. We got the rookie level. We got loyalty badges. You got custom emoji badges. And you have members on the live stream. As we get more people flowing in uh, to join the membership, I have members only live chat. That means everybody can see the video. They want to see the video, but only members will be able to chat. That's three dollars a rookie. Dog star. You get personal shout outs before the videos, maybe after the video. Mostly likely before the videos. Um, you give a priority to reply in the chat. Um, so. As soon as I see you, I reply before anybody else. Get early access to pretty much all my non-boxing videos um, there, $10 a month. Then we got the boxing pound for pound superstar for all my boxing boys and, and gals out there. Get early access to prediction and most of our boxing content, virtual video collaborations and open debate. So, you know, if you wanna pre-record or go live and debate me for a whole video, you got you. you got early access to new videos, some of the videos in the All-Stars world too. And priority reply in the comments. So I see in the comments you get priority reply. No instantly that's twenty dollars a month. So uh, let me know what you guys do what you think. Don't have a Patreon no more. So here's where you're gonna get some of that exclusive content I used to have on the Patreon. Peace.